Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Bible Illustrated Hands. <clears throat> I apologize uh, if my voice is a bit um, sore. Um, I have woken up from an anesthetic a couple of hours ago, so um, I may sound that hoarse. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, I wanted to make um, a commentary video on two of my previous videos, one of which I privated. It was called the uh, Easy Handy Dandy Acme uh, Restraint Guide, and the other is called A Heartfelt Message from uh, Mosha. A Heartfelt Message from Mosha was part of a Handy Dandy Restraint Guide, but I uh, decided to remove that video and simply use only her part as a separate video, reasons for which I'll come to later. Um, I know that there uh, was um, a lot of negative reaction to the videos. It was primarily positive, uh, but uh, two-thirds uh, according to the like-dislike bar. So I simply want to explain my reasons for making the video, uh, how the creative process went, and to reply to some of the major comments in the comment section. So um, what uh, made me uh, make the video was, of course, uh, seeing George Floyd die and me really not understanding uh, why did um, uh, the officer press his neck as opposed to to his like upper shoulder um, for nine minutes straight you know um, and he was even pinning him to the ground um, after the paramedics came uh, I simply did not understand that uh, and they wanted to uh, and they wanted to simply parody that as a satanic idea, to paint man in such a way that he would die. And um, I uh, um, I did that video where it is essentially Satan disguised as me, giving creative and uh, slapsticky ways to restrain people, like throwing them in a volcano, dropping a piano on their head, and so on. Uh, when I wrote the script to my part of the video, uh, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to have somebody, you know, uh, proof check the video, you know, just to check if it's, if it's not in uh, poor taste or anything. So I asked Moshe, and she liked it a lot. Um, she said uh, uh, that uh, it looked good. Uh, it wasn't, uh, you know disrespectful, I'm calling out the behavior without making it too political, and so on and so forth. So, so she asked me um, if, uh, if she could uh, participate in the video itself uh, by uh, making a bit of a call to action. I was like, sure, yes, of course. Uh, I'm just sorry. Uh, then we had a lot of back and forth, thinking uh, how, uh, how the... Oh, there's an end here, sorry. Um, how we should go about the video. Um, it was a lot of back and forth, you know. Um, I mean, uh, we're friends and everything, so it was all fine. Uh, but um, uh, but uh, maybe if we wanted to go overboard with some things. Uh, mind, mind you, these weren't political. These weren't any sorts of endorsements of violence, rioting, looting, looting and so on. But uh, I had concerns that um, my audience uh, would like um, uh, take it the wrong way, uh, so we changed the uh, changed the scripts, the endorsements a couple of times. So once that was over, uh, I um, consulted my patrons, you know, just to give them a heads up that this video may be, may be interpreted by some of them as um, maybe a more political video. So that um, I wanted simply to double check who of them would want to have their name attached to the video. Uh, a lot of them um, didn't for various reasons, uh, but they were all pretty much like, um, do what you want. Uh, I don't want my name attached to that video, but none of them like cancelled any pledges. It was pretty, it wasn't as controversial as thought I would be in the end. Uh, so, uh, I made the video, so we're still uh, talking about Easy Handy Daddy or Dandy Restraint Guide. I posted, uh, I posted that, and uh, to be quite honest, I posted the video, I went to bed. 
However, in the morning when I got up, I must say that I really didn't uh, feel that video was okay. You know, um, uh, you know, a man died, and I'm here making jokes about pianos or everything. Uh, I'm strictly speaking about my part. You know, uh, it wasn't that. Uh, um, a couple of you, and uh, I mean, thank you for being so considerate, but uh, a couple of you have messaged me, uh, hey boy, and I'm sorry if uh, it was me who made you delete the video, that was my intention, and so on. Uh, it was no one's, uh, uh, it was no one's uh, action that prompted me to delete the video, but my own, you know, I didn't feel good about it. So I asked Moshe, uh, what did she think, and she uh, and this was interesting. She shared the exact same opinion. It, uh, despite me uh, double checking the video, uh, uh, despite me double checking the video, despite uh, um, uh, me consulting everyone, despite all of that, mm. it really did not. Um, it really did not f sit well with me. So I decided to uh, delete easy handy dandy restraint guide and simply leave um, Moshe's part um, also one input that I also valued was um, uh, Moshe's spiritual father uh, he also thought that maybe video wasn't uh, hmm, uh, that it uh, it was somewhere between too soon and poor taste so and I was like okay fine I will respect a priest's opinion especially a dedicated priest so, just a moment, please. That came back earlier, so I had to close the door because I don't want the audio to be interfered. Uh, so, um, um, I deleted that portion of the video and I left Morsh's part. Uh, however, um, uh, I have to make two things clear. First of all, uh, for all of you who did not like the video for any reason, uh, or any of the videos, like only Moshe's part or both our parts, uh, <clears throat> uh, I have to say that uh, while you compare the video on its own merits, uh, I compare it to what it was supposed to be which I won't say what uh, what it was supposed to be because I may use it in some other contexts uh, that are far less controversial. Uh, but, um, uh, but uh, you know, despite the backlash that I got, it's still relatively mild co compared to what I would have, uh, I would have got. So thanks for Moshe and uh, a bunch of other people for, you know, um, not making a stupid mistake. Second, uh, <clears throat> uh, a big thing is that none of us have endorsed uh, vandalism, looting, rioting, or violence in any shape or form. Uh, there's something I would like to add to this, but I want to mo move on to the second part of this video where I will explain, uh, where I will give some uh, general uh, responses to some uh, comments I have received on the video. Uh, so, um, first of all, um, some people called uh, the video political. Uh, when I first uploaded Easy Handy Dandy uh, Restraints Guide, uh, I said in the comments that uh, I said in the pinned comment and in the video description before posting a comment, assume good intention. You know, sadly, this is not something I have put when I uploaded Moshe's heartfelt message, and I should have. So um, that's one. Second, I have all uploaded videos that could be easily interpreted as political um, earlier. Uh, this is especially the case with K Gate about the case of a uh, of a. Um, uh, a baker refusing to bake a wedding cake for a gay uh, for a gay couple. Uh, that is uh, the the cra the baker in question uh, is a Christian, and uh, he simply refused to do it, even though he offered uh, the gay couple to find 
some other bakers that would be willing uh, to, you know, fulfill their needs, but the gay couple simply decided to sue the baker. In any case, there were videos that can easily be interpreted as political. I do not see this, uh, what has happened in the US, as a political issue. It is a political issue as well, but not exclusively political issue. And I approach it from the angle of a not political issue. You know, a case of police brutality, uh, common love uh, for uh, for fellow men, and so on. Okay. Uh, then, second, uh, there were a couple of comments like bash racist heads, uh, and again, assuming good uh, intention. Um, just because somebody opposes Black Lives Matter movement does not make that person a racist, a fascist, or some, something. Uh, they may simply have a different worldview that does not include that they think less of blacks, that they hate blacks, that they want to see them uh, lynched or, you know, taken care of by the police or anything. Uh, there are many reasons why, uh, why people, for example, would not... Uh, support such a movement and that does not make them racist. So I wasn't a fan of that comment. Uh, so uh, there were a couple of comments that um, called out, uh, not really called out. They re uh, they criticized it in a rather charitable manner. I think uh, that um, uh, Moshe uh, called. Um, she said this. Uh, 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 don't do looting, don't be violent, this isn't some anarchist fantasy. And a couple of people who are anarchists, yeah, but this isn't anarchism, this is poorly defined ideology of ours. And while I agree with that, uh, also in ver uh, ver vernacular, in everyday language, uh, people do use anarchy for chaos as a synonym, and I do it all, t all the time in Serbia. Uh, I think that maybe half a percent of people in Serbia used word anarchy as a political movement for reduction or um, rel um, primary elimin elimination of government. They will use it as, oh, whole hell broke loose, it was an anarchy. So that's one. Um, I will return to the uh, uh, Black Lives Matter. Big issue with Black Lives Matter is that it is... Um, um, <laughs> It is a large movement with many stakeholders and basically the biggest unifying uh, unifying, uh, unifying um, force behind this whole movement is their website. And that is where a lot of people had issues uh, because they called for defunding of police and something which I can't get behind that. Uh, I mean, if somebody thinks of a better use for that money that would go to the police, okay, maybe. But just defunding the police uh, based on, um, um, uh, I, I don't know, uh, r rotten eggs in police, I would find that problematic. Uh, also, the big problem I have with the Black Lives Movement and the organization is that uh, it uses a very good slogan. Black Lives Matter is an excellent slogan. It's catchy. It says, uh, it tells you, uh, it tells you all that you need uh, uh, to know, and uh, uh, it basically tells you something that each and every one can get get behind from. Now, of course, there will always be all lives matter, but I don't buy that because, for example, when ISIS began, a lot of us have put up uh, that um, Arab letter that uh, that's basically a letter for N, meaning Nazarene, meaning Christians. And none of us would have wanted to hear, are you saying that Muslim lives don't matter, you know, uh, and so on. So uh, just because uh, somebody uses that slogan does not, uh, of course, mean that uh, no lives matter and so on. So I, I've always found that a problematic argument. However, using a, a very good uh, slogan for an organization that uh, may be problematic, and I do understand why a lot of Christians have issues with Black Lives Matter, is problematic. Uh, however, I, uh, I left that uh, in the video because, again, I think it is a good slogan. 
read what you wa want from it. I would never endorse the organization, you know, so that's that. Um, there were a couple of uh, comments like, why don't you save black babies that are being aborted and so on. This is again very similar to all lives matter argument. Uh, if you take up a cause, that, that does not exclude any other cause, you know, so... Uh, it's like, why are you fighting for Christians in the Middle East when there are babies being killed? You know, it, it's simply a bad argument. Um, uh, as regards to police, <clears throat> there will always be bullies in the police, always without exception. This is something that we get in Serbia. Uh, I don't think that there's a, uh, there's a country in the world, except maybe some Scandinavian countries, <laughs> where... Um, Police brutality isn't an issue. Of course, uh, there are shades of this uh, as everywhere everywhere else. And sometimes, or more often, actual bullies will get will go to uh, become policemen in order to vent their frustration by proxy, you know, by concealing them in veneer of uh, being law enforcement. So, so that is always an issue. Some people have commented uh, regarding the character of uh, George Floyd that he was a drug daddy, that he was violent. Um, a friend of mine even said that he at one point held a, a pregnant woman at the gunpoint. All of this is beside the point because the man was, again, uh, simply murdered without any, I think, real reason for him to be murdered. Um, if he has done those crimes, then he should, of course he should be held uh, accountable for them. Uh, um, that is why I was against sort of canonizing George Floyd. Uh, I love Michael Jones from Inspiring Philosophy, but he made like a very... Uh, George Floyd was a man of the gospel. Uh, without going uh, t uh, too far into if he was, uh, this is something that I would have postponed for a year or two. There is a reason why we wait for canonizations in Orthodox and Catholic churches. Because you don't want some unseemly um, information uh, to burst out uh, when the man or the, or the woman is canonized, you know? Um, I think it is a bit of playing with fire. However, again, even if he was the worst in the world, uh, the way he died, he did not deserve the way to die as he did. Of course, he was on drugs at the moment, he had heart issues, I am well aware of that, but again, from my person, in my personal opinion, pinning a man on the neck is simply not the way to go. So, again, please correct me on this, but wouldn't uh, it be better if he pinned him, if he kneeled on his upper shoulder, like, uh, or lower neck, so it wouldn't cause any breathing issues? Uh, some have said, uh, well, uh, the solution to your problem is simple, as Ursula would say it, as regards to Mimi, that is Moshe, being afraid for her safety as an African-American. Uh, uh, don't resist the authorities during the arrest. Um, uh, but we already know a couple of cases uh, that were very well, you know, uh, well documented about people getting shot by the police even though they weren't resisting you know uh, i don't know uh, what's the man's name but essentially the guy asked him uh, for id uh, he puts uh, his uh, uh, the guy says i have a gun on myself i will just fetch the id and then he gets shot you know so it's not as easy don't resist the authorities okay in absolute majority of cases yes you you don't resist the authorities and Everything will, you know, uh, go fine as far as your personal well-being goes. But can you be absolutely sure of that, that somebody uh, won't, um, uh, won't uh, take your slightest movement as an attempt to take out the gun, you know? Um, what else, what else? Uh, yeah, uh, in one part of the video, Moshe says, try to be as non-violent as possible or something along those lines. Uh, this is something that where we both sort of dropped the ball. And as I said before, assume good intention. The clear message of that was don't loot, don't be violent, and so on. Uh, but as I said, the video went through so many revisions. 
and I was so glad that we didn't have the version that we were initially going for that both of us simply missed out on this. Uh, I, uh, once I finish uploading this, I will most probably uh, edit that uh, edit that part out. Uh, I will make it uh, mute, so there will be a disconnect uh, in the audio file. Um, Mosh asked me if I could upload a different version, but I was I was against that because then I would have to uh, basically upload the basically third video, uh, <laughs> upload the same video for the third time, and. Uh, that is, as a YouTuber, that is not something I would like to do because um, I would hate for a content creator. I would like to upload a video three times and me three going three times. Oh, new, oh, new. oh it's again the same video, you know. So uh, that uh, that part will be edited out. But please don't call us. Well, do you mean don't be? Vi yes, we do mean don't be violent. Come on, I mean, <laughs> what happened to the basic charity, you know? Um, then there were uh, comments like, uh, most cops aren't racist, and I agree with this. I agree that the absolute majority of cops aren't racist. Um, I agree that major uh, absolute majority of uh, whites aren't racist. I agree that the absolute majority of blacks aren't racist. And I agree that the absolute majority of Mormons aren't racist. Uh, uh, however, um, however... You do get uh, bad apples everywhere, and these uh, spoil the fun for everyone. Uh, <coughs> some some have said, well, I'm sad that you have bought into all of the America's racist propaganda. Uh, I have to a bit, uh, I have to be snide a little bit here. If America isn't racist, uh, how do you have African uh, such a huge African American community? Okay, snide over. Um, Racism is an issue that we will always have everywhere in different shape and form. And it is all too natural for, uh, for this to be more apparent in a country that is a melting pot. You will always have racial slurs, national slurs, uh, slurs of any kind. So uh, I wouldn't say that America is racist, far from it. I would just say that America has issues that would be expected from a country that had the history that the United States have had, had, have, have had it. So, uh, uh, there was a lot of uh, talk, uh, oh, this is all propaganda and so on. Um, it, um, you know, it might be, but still, the fact remains that the cop was arrested uh, like four days after the murder, which for me was, was um, shocking, as in... Um, uh, why aren't these guys arrested way earlier? And then I remember that uh, whenever I heard of these uh, uh, of these uh, um, uh, high-profile cases uh, of police brutality, that the worst that uh, cops have got was usually them getting fired. And uh, while well, this is um, again. Uh, this is a horrible thing to anyone in law, uh, law enforcement to get fired. It is still not enough. That, that's why you have laws and so on. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, <laughs> there were a couple of comments like, uh, please don't, uh, don't uh, comment on American politics. Well, I do come from a country that was bombarded by the US primarily. So if you guys can throw bombs here, I can throw comments there. So there's that. Uh, and uh, there was something else. So something else. Uh, some, uh, there were stats, you know, about uh, that police brutality is rare, that uh, it is basically, uh, that it is basically, um, uh, 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 that it was basically, <laughs> what did I want to say? Yeah, that uh, these sort of excesses don't really happen as often as uh, they do, and so on. This is the argument that, if true, this is something that I could get behind. So, but then again, uh, there are there are lies, there are violent li there there are violent lies, and there are statistics. So, um, 
I think that a bit, uh, I, at least I would have to do a little more research behind this one, but if true, then okay, fine. I accept it, you know. Uh, that's it for this video. Uh, in all probability, uh, I won't make uh, videos on these sort of subjects unless the ire has quieted down a bit. Uh, I already said that um, people are sort of too fast to unsubscribe. Like, we've known each other for like two years. I make one video that you don't like. Unsubscribe! I mean, I mean, okay, fine, I won't pin you to the ground to keep you on the channel <laughs> but um, I am much more than any nasty word you can call me with ba uh, based on that video you know and besides Moshe is my friend and of course that that video will stay it's not the perfect video but none of us are perfect you know sometimes people misspeak and I won't let some uh, someone bash a friend of mine just because she misspoke. That's it. Bye.